Now we divide the fibula bone into an upper end, shaft and lower end. The upper end has a circular articular facet here which articulate with the con lateral condyle of tibia. This is the apex of the head. It is projecting from posteriorly and laterally apex of the head. There is a constriction between head and the shaft of the fibula. This constriction is called as neck of the fibula. The shaft has three borders, anterior, posterior and introsious borders. The anterior border begins just below the anterior aspect of the head of the fibula and it descends downward and when it reaches the inferior end it is splitting into a triangular area which forms the lateral surface of the lateral malleolus. This is the lateral surface of the lateral malleolus formed by the splitting of this anterior border into a triangular area. This is the anterior border. This is the posterior border. If we trace it upward, this, this is the rounded posterior border. If we trace it upward, it, it is in line with this apex of the head of the fibula. This is the posterior border. And just medial to the posterior border here is the introsious border. So the three borders of the fibula are the anterior sharp border, which splits inferiorly to form the lateral surface of the lateral malleolus, the rounded posterior border, which is in line with the apex of the fibula, head of the fibula. This border, which is medial to the posterior border, this is the introsious border. If, if, I, if, if I, in anatomical position, this is the, this will be the introsious border. There is a medial surface which lies between anterior and introsious border. This is the medial surface. The lateral surface lies between anterior and posterior border. This is the lateral surface. And the posterior surface lies between introsious border and posterior border. Introsious border and posterior border. This is the posterior surface. The lower hand has a prominent lateral malleolus. This lateral malleolus has four surfaces. This is the anterior surface which is roughened and rounded. This is the posterior surface which has a groove. This is the medial surface which we are a triangular facet for the talus bone. And this is the lateral surface. The anterior surface, the lateral surface, the grooved posterior surface and the medial surface.